All right, I'm going to do a reading right now on the war in Palestine. Let's just see where it's at and where it's going. And we're always monitoring, you know, the spawning of World War III in this whole situation. So let's just see what we get. And our root card is the magician. The magician is a display, right? It's like sort of displaying your many skills and here's the shadows of the people who are observing them. So what is happening now, and we're probably talking about the ceasefire and the exchange of hostages is a display, a display of power and skill. Now the main card is the reverse Ace of Wands, and that is showing the lack of new inspiration, the lack of fire and creativity. Let's just see what's on either side of this Ace to see what the heck it's talking about here. Interesting. So leading up to this reverse Ace of Wands, is a reverse Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is the happy reunited family. Now, that is fascinating considering that they're doing um, hostage exchanges and there actually are some reunited families. But here it shows, uh, the other way that the Ten can show up is a family that gets reunited but didn't want to be. But I don't know, there's something weird about a reverse Ten of Cups showing like either a lack of a reunited family or the family that gets pushed together that wasn't trying to be. And that leads to the reverse Ace of Wands and ultimately that leads to the Ace of Cups. So maybe this is just talking about the time period in which the hostages were not being released. And then people were like, well, fuck it, there's no point. And as it moves forward, then we have an Ace of Cups, which is talking about like um, accepting fulfillment on some sort of level. Um, I am sort of getting uh, the moon's influence as I look at the Ace of Cups. So, it could actually be tied to the lunar cycle somehow. I guess the hostage exchanges did happen around the full moon. Um, but maybe that's how the things are planned. Like maybe they're planned around the lunar cycle or something like that. Um, I guess. Well, let's just see kind of where it goes. So what comes next in this? And there we have our good friend, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune shows up a lot lately, but it's showing bigger currents of energy. This is destiny and karma. So we have a big sort of energetic shift. Now let's just see if we can find out what kind of shift, because the Wheel of Fortune by nature doesn't really tell you anything about that. So let's just see what we get. And it is a Three of Swords, which is Heartbreak and Betrayal. Okay, so it looks like we're coming nearer to some sort of cosmic-like energetic shift that might throw a monkey wrench into any sort of peaceful things that have been happening here. Um, let's, I guess I'm going to put one on the other side of the Wheel of Fortune over here. Maybe that's going to help us figure out what this three is talking about. And the Two of Cups is a harmonious moment. So you have these two different figures and they're kind of open to each other in that moment. So that could be what's happening now with this uh, prisoner exchange or hostage exchange or whatever, and the temporary ceasefire. So then we have this dramatic shift in some sort of energy, which leads to a three of swords. All right. Now, I guess I'm just going to pull one more on this Wheel of Fortune to see what the fuck sort of shift this is. And it's a reverse page of swords. Now, 
the Page of Swords is very good at zoning in on one specific thing and sort of seeing all of it. The Page of Swords reversed is, if this shows up in a personal reading, it says that you're just focusing on negative shit, right? And, and you're not seeing anything that's actually there because you're specifically looking for failure or for bad things. And it looks like the shift would come in the way of perception. So people would be perceiving only bad things that would carry things from this momentary truce or whatever is happening in the two to uh, a heartbreak and betrayal. Um, and this reversed the page of swords would show a shift in perception. Now, it has to be understood that with everything that's happening in this and all of the other war zones, what people like us are able to learn about it is all bullshit. You know, it's all propaganda from one source or another. And we are not being fed any sort of whole truth, right? And um, this could be just propaganda, but the fact that it's linked to the Wheel of Fortune, to me says that it might not be just propaganda. It would be like some sort of greater energetic shift, but this energetic shift would lead people to only perceive things that they think is bad. Um, this doesn't look good for any sort of long-term peace, but I guess we'll see if we can put a timeline on this Wheel of Fortune shift to see how long this like temporary peace is going to last and we get the freaking Judgment card. I mean, how fucking creepy is that? With the Judgment card as well as the Wheel of Fortune... So, um, it, looking at this, I mean, it looks like there's some bigger element, bigger than Israel and Palestine. Um, something else is going to change, and any sort of peace that was being found there, is, it looks like it's about to be destroyed. But a timeline, the Judgment card usually would show something farther away, because it's a major arcana card, but it's just like that mixed with the Wheel of Fortune. To me, I just feel like this is showing some bigger change that is about to happen. Um, all right. Well, let's just see what else the cards have to say about this situation. What have I not thought of to ask or just what else? Should we know here? And we get another Major Arcana in The Fool. So The Fool is showing a new beginning. That is really interesting because if we look at the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card, and then you throw The Fool on top of that, the, this is a big shift, it looks like. And it's like there's another element that's about to be dropped in there that kind of changes the whole dynamic. Um, I guess time will tell, but, um, this is what we have for now. I would love to hear any theories about what you think any, any of this is relating to as far as that situation goes. And if you do have requests for topics, um, or if you want to request a different angle to look at it from, uh, hit up the Patreon page and that is where I do all of that sort of thing from. That's what we have for now, and peace.